Uh, thank you very much for being a part of the weekend program today. My name is Dakmo Aruajoye. Uh, we will continue from where we stopped yesterday. We were setting an agenda for the new ministers. Uh, that's what we were doing actually yesterday. Today we will continue from there because actually most of them, or oh yeah, some or most of them have started working in it. So take it from there and look at the expectations of Nigerians and how soon will these people uh, deliver, even looking at their manifesto, uh, talking about the APC manifesto also. So we just look at that uh, uh, side by side and critically analyze uh, what they should be doing soon and what we should be expecting also soon. And my guest today is Dr. Austin Nweze, is a lecturer at uh, Pan Atlantic University. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Doctor. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's go straight to business. Uh, let's look at uh, the Ministry of Power, Works, and uh, Housing. Yes, uh, yesterday we talked uh, briefly about that. But let's look at the challenges ahead of the of the new minister. Talking about uh, uh, former Governor uh, Raji Fashola. Uh, let's start with housing. According to the manifesto of APC, uh, they said uh, they will create additional middle class, uh, that is uh, having one million new homeowners in the first year of government. How do you think they can achieve this? Well, it's, um, in terms of housing, first of all, the housing deficiency in, uh, that we have across the country is um, uh, close to um, about 14 million, uh, I've mm. forgotten the actual figure. Uh, but again, one million annually, that's only four million. 10 million balance, okay? It's achievable, okay? Government doesn't have to do everything. The thing is that looking at housing, to have what kind of, what strategy do you have for housing, for instance? The middle class is the engine room of any economy. Hmm. They decide what to be consumed, kind of uh, lifestyle and all that. Okay, and to really grow the economy, you know, we need to move more people, you know, as long as, as in, in fact, as you continue to maintain the current middle class, if there is any. Yes, okay. that's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking, really. Yeah, if there is mm. any. Because yeah. it's either you're rich, or you're poor. super rich, you're rich, or you're poor, or you're super poor, mm. you mm. know? So this, these are the ways that uh, that's the, But let me give you an example. The real estate alone can unleash Nigeria's economy, okay? There are real estate investors outside the country who can, when given the right environment, who can, and some guarantees, you know, I often say that to attract investment into the country, we can use our foreign reserve to say, okay, even though we are reckless, we are rascally, mm. in case we misbehave, as we often do as a nation, you know, and you can have that as a guarantee for, you know, in case of anything. The reserve. Yeah, the reserve. reserve. Mm. Okay. Now, this real estate people, we don't, we don't need, need to focus on the people. And again, we need to look at the sources of raw material for real estate to make housing affordable. That's the zinc, cement? Exactly. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. We are the cost of building a home, building a house is expensive. We should research and come up with new ways, you know, looking the, using the local raw materials mm. to make it easier for people. Like what, mud? Of course, there's a, there's a new method. This, you know why we use mud in the first place? Mm. Mud is actually good for the weather. That's why we use mud. Cement is not actually good for our hot weather. Because the mud makes the house cold. Yes. Yeah, they can improve cool. on yeah. science. You know, this technology is there now. Or even if it's not there, investment could be put into research to find out the raw materials that we have. Even the palm front, the palm, this, mm. you know, the roof, thatch roof that you use, mm. rafters mm. and all that. Mm. We can research on it. Let me give you an example. The... Um, this, uh, there's one thing that the, the palm, palm tree, for instance, in, uh, in Malaysia, for instance, mm. they can manufacture, they, I think they have about 270 items manufactured, you know, from the palm tree alone. Because research, science has made it possible. Mm. 
I heard the, the rumors then that they even took some of our palm of nuts course. to grow over of there. Of course. Uh, you, you were not born then. Mm. Was, sorry. Mm. Yeah, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> but mm. we were uh, uh, around, mm. and at least young people then, mm. we heard that. And, um, you know, even the ostrich. South Africa is the highest producer of uh, ostrich in the world. But where did the ostrich come from? Here in Lagos, here in Nigeria. Ostrich. Ostrich. That's agriculture. We'll talk about yes. that. But let's quickly finish this house and really. So the challenges before the governor, I mean, sorry, the former governor, the new minister now, yeah. are talking about uh, Raji Fashola in housing. How do you think, even with the with the other ministries uh, encompassed with these, how do you think he can achieve housing in a short while? Well, the, the thing is that, one, to take a, a look at the, the housing deficiency that we have currently and how to even do social housing. Social housing. Yes. It's not what government can do alone. There's a partnership. There's uh, somebody I know in Abuja mm. that is advocating for this social housing. You know? What does that mean? You know, social housing is you build house for, you know, for the... Less privileged? Yes, for the less privileged. And again, okay. it could be community okay, thing. Okay, okay, and okay. and uh, yeah. it's not something that you price out of the rich. Okay. Because government will build house and sell it at the highest. What highest, who buys yes. the, the houses? Civil, rich civil servants and um, some businesses, they will buy it off. The masses don't have access to it. And the APC was talking about the mortgage also. They, they have to maybe reintroduce uh, the mortgage system, a there's, better mortgage system. Yes, there's uh, the Federal Mortgage Bank. There's this uh, N, uh, NIST, uh, no, no, uh, the, the housing, uh, mm. I forgot it, NHS. NHI, NHIS or something. Uh, yes, mm. NHIS or mm. something, or fund. National, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, okay. a housing fund. Okay. You know, it exists. All you need is to strengthen that institution. You need to save at least six months to qualify. You have to have C of O to have access to the NHF, mm. you know? And, and uh, again, once you have that, some mortgage banks, how many mortgage banks do we have today, okay? So, and you know, the whole issues, and, and then the, the real estate uh, trust investment, REIT, mm. Mm. you know, uh, uh, funds could also be pumped in there for people to have access. The thing is that people don't have access. People don't. Yes, there are mm. opportunities there. The REIT, and uh, R E I T, the uh, real estate uh, mm. investment trust, mm. you know, people don't have access to it. So we can reach, uh, use that op opportunity to open up. Open, open up. Mm. Open up the whole mm. this thing. Mm. It's not just government building houses, you know. People can begin to have confidence if the if C of O. I wonder why someone cannot get a C of O within three days. Well, I said Ogun State uh, introduced that you can get your C of O immediately. Well, I, well, that's that would be fine. That would be great. Once you do that, you have access. Now, let me give you an example. Uh, Hernando de Soto, in his works, uh, the Minister of Capital, he was in Lagos a couple of times. He said that the third world countries have over 63 trillion, okay, uh, dollars in assets, but they are dead assets. And he gave exa assets. Yeah. He gave example, all the shanties that we have. Why the West, US and Europe, they have been able to succeed is that they have assets. The houses in the village, no matter how remote, is, is valued. You can use it to uh, get a loan. Mm. Yes, you can use it to get a loan. So we that you know you, you, you can you don't have to struggle to build a house by mm. yourself and, and all that. Mm. And then you you can use that to get a loan and use that loan as collateral for other other uh, other investment that you want to do. And, they, and the government will make money from there also. Of course. Let's, let's go to another uh, important one still under the ministry, uh, which uh, the, the former governor will be heading. And let's talk about uh, infrastructure, which is uh, works. Uh, the APC in his, in his manifesto said, you know, I'm back on the National Inf Infrastructural Development Program as a PPP. And uh, they'll be looking at construction of a 3,000 uh, kilometer uh, superhighway, including service trunks, and building up to 4,800 uh, uh, kilometers of modern railway lines, and uh, one third to be completed by 2019. Mm. Well, it's, it's um, why I like uh, this. It's always good to, um, to have this kind of thing, uh, vision of what you want to do. Mm. And uh, again, uh, you talk about the resources, you know, in everything that you do, you talk about how you're going to get resources. 
good, well stated, but again, you need the political will to be able to accomplish some of it. You need capital, money. Money. You need money to do this. You need people, you know. And again, in doing all this, I want to emphasize the need for us to use the local capacity rather than giving contracts to foreign companies and all that. We can build this. What we, the minister could do is meet with the current, the engineering uh, association, co mm. uh, said, uh, chartered of uh, the current, mm. uh, forgotten the, uh, mm. the in for engineers. Engineers. Yes. Meet with them. Have a session that look, these are the things that we want to do. How can your association help? help? One is that the cost of doing this, because don't forget, Nigeria still remains the highest cost. You know, it costs the highest anywhere in the world, in Nigeria, to construct a kilometer of road. Why, is it the topography or what? No, I don't, one is the topography. Again, insincerity. Mm. Inflated uh, pricing. The way we do business around Yes. Mm. You know, how can you construct a 49-kilometer 40, road for 50 billion naira? You do a ramp for 2 billion naira. They, because the, some of these materials are imported. Mm. And it's only what the price they give you out there, especially these foreign construction companies. So you don't have a choice. You yes. Have to buy. So mm. but we have about 70% of the, what we need in this, both in human and material, to be able to look inwards. Look at, okay, it, once they are doing road, you give um, uh, some of these foreign construction companies, you don't even see the white faces, the European faces. It's Nigerian faces that yeah, you that see. The work, yeah, every time. They're doing all the work. Why don't you be, do this as, you know, have them as consultants? If it is drawing the technical side of it, you learn. i give you an example. Uh, early this year, the Singapore government wanted to expand the airport so that it can accommodate over a million tra uh, traffic, a mm. million travelers mm. in a day. What did they do? They sent the people, Singaporeans, to look at different models in different countries. They went to Australia, went to Indonesia, went to other countries. And they came back with ideas. And they called their people, folded their sleeves, and they began work. Whatever they lack, if they can, don't have the human capacity, then they can bring in. They just consult. Consult. Mm. So why can't we begin to do that? In, by doing so, we're also helping our local, building up our local capacity. So the Ministry of Science and Technology, headed by uh, Obuna Yaonu, should uh, collaborate with the Ministry of Work. In fact, no ministry is an island. So they should collaborate. Everybody must work together. There should be... Everything is more synchronized. Mm, mm. You know, what has happened in the past from the history of this nation, especially in the, in, in the 70s, that everybody does his or her own thing. Just the this is my individuality. Yes. yes. There's no national vision. There's no national strategy. And all the departments, all the parasitos are not synchronized. But in this instance, with these people and with the APC manifesto, these people should have a dream, should have, should of have course. focus. They, they should have know a, what they exactly are Exactly, as a party. One, these are the things that the party wants. Now, the president will say, based on what the party has, this is also my own vision. Mm. In line with, if there's any way to make an adjustment, without the president making clear, articulating his own vision for this nation, all the ministries cannot function. Wow. They can be effective because you depend on that. To be able to say, okay, otherwise you would just be doing their own thing. Mm. Tough protection. Oh, this is my ministry, I have nothing. Let me protect it. Yeah, yeah. Let, yes. Mm. I said this, uh, you know, there was uh, an event in Abuja which I, I spoke to the ministries. You know, I said, I spoke for the need, the need for them to know what and have a meeting. Okay. This is the, all, the big picture, the vision that we want to accomplish is a big picture. Now, how can my ministry key into this? Wow. And uh, beyond that, what the ministers should be able to do now is to look inward, to look at it, call their staff, have a strategic session, a strategic retreat, maybe three days, just to, to harmonize, come up with their own vision, mm. their strategy, mm. in line with the national strategy and vision. Wow, wow. That wow. is what they have to do. Otherwise, it will be, they'll be working out of sync. Hmm. So, Wonderful. Yeah, so it, it is important 
That's a certain point. Yeah, it's good to jump around and do this, you know, be busy like a bee, uh, because activity is not productivity. Mm -hmm. You must be productive. You need to, you know, begin to carry out. And the most difficult people to work with is the civil servants. But now that we have the permanent secretaries, the reshuffle of the permanent secretaries, I think this is strategy. That means, okay, I need, it's it, it, a new dawn. It's not as if, okay, we have the old uh, uh, permanent secretaries there now influencing the new ministers. You know, people just say, okay, they are the ones that show the ministers, okay, oh God, there's a loophole here, let's eat money here. But no, now it's different. No, no, see, because there are still permanent secretaries. There are still civil servants, okay? Let's face it. One way there are still human beings, mm. okay? There are still human beings. By reshuffling them, okay, did you bring them from heaven? No. Wow. The thing is that, look at your system. The, min the minister should focus on building, strengthening their institutions. Look at the processes, the way things are done, step by step with things are done. Look mm. at the system. Look at the structure the of that. The bureaucracy too. Yes. Mm. Mm. See what and what they should do. If they can strengthen their institutions, because institutions uh, drive economic growth. Hmm. Let's talk about power because power really drives economic growth also, uh, which is a major department and a major sector, uh, which is added to that of the housing and works. We've talked about works a little and housing a little, mm -hmm. but let's talk about power because APC, according to the manifesto, said they're going to generate 20,000 megawatts in four years, if I'm not mistaken, I stand corrected, and they're going to increase to 50,000 megawatts and with a view of achieving 24-7 uninterrupted power supply within 10 years. Do you think it's achievable? It's, a, it's, it's achievable. achievable even before that 10 years. Do you think so? Yes, it's achievable. Now, the thing is that having a strategy. Let me give you an example. You know, when I talk, I give an example of what has happened in other countries mm -hmm. and how they were able to do this. It took Europe and America less than 50 years. That was one thing for you to industrialize. For them to industrialize, they, they knew that power was, you know, must, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must. So they were able to achieve it. Africa as a whole, you know, in over 50 years, they have not been able to have access, less than 40% of Africans have access to power. Mm. And power constitutes between 65 and 85% of the manufacturing component costs. If you can sort out power, cost of doing business will be less. Even ordinary tailor needs about 85% of power to be able to, uh, uh, you know, do the tailoring. So, but again, we are looking at, I don't know, what can I keep hammering on this? In everything you do, you must have a big picture. You must have a strategy to achieve whatever. What is the vision of power? Are we going to generate and focus on those that already have power? I'll give you an example. When Nelson Mandela took over in 1994 as president of Africa, the late Nelson Mandela. South Africa. Yes, yeah, South Africa. Only about 20% of South Africans had access to power, and they were only white community. The blacks didn't have that. But that changed. What, what did they do? They had a target that every year, between 250,000 and 300,000 350, households must be keyed, connected to the national grid. National grid. Mm. As at 2010, 80% had access to power. Mm. Now, how did they generate power? They generate power through other means. Nuclear, coal. In fact, I saw that myself because I was taken round when I went to South, South Africa. 17% came from... Uh, I think uh, 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 nuclear or something. But the thing is that coal, they extract oil from coal. In fact, the pipe they connect, the way they connected it, the pipes can go around the whole of Lagos. And coal we have in abundance. Yes. They mm. extract oil from coal, use the byproduct to generate power. Mm. It's not just only one source. Okay? It's not just only one source. We can also adopt the French model that. Every community, you don't need to be connect, have a national, and this, yeah, national thing, mm. you know. You can decide to say, okay, I'm connected to, you know, my, this community. You have uh, 
you know, uh, but Fashola has that idea because of the high PP, yeah, independent, independent uh, power is a power plant. He has that idea. We have the uh, is it a, a, a motor show, yeah, we have a lot of IPPs, so he has that idea already. So he might uh, bring that in nationally, of course, yeah, yeah. If he brings that in, fine. If he brings that in, fine. And the APC also talked about renewable energy, alternative source of energy. You mentioned do you, do you know, Yeah, do you know that solar? Yes. Solar alone is just to make the technology work cheap. Because we have Affordable. in abundance also solar. Ah, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, we, when they advertise for people to, for tourism and others, they say, visit Ethiopia, th uh, 13 months of sunshine. And we have only 12 months in a year. It said 13 <laughs> months of sunshine. Extra. Extra. <laughs> Nigeria has even 15 months. I also. think even 20. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we harness? God has given us all this. God cannot come from heaven and do this for us. He has given us the intellect, the ability to dominate our environment. And they said, okay, let's, let's go to the ministry now, the ministry of employment now. Because all these, when we talk about uh, renewable energy, we talk about works, we talk about housing, they all lead to, according to the APC, it's all about job employment. I mean, job, yeah, employment, uh, providing jobs for the, for the unemployed. And because they said in six years, on the, the rate of unemployment has risen into like 24.5 percent which is which that is, is on the high adults and unemployment adult unemployment youth unemployment is much higher it's double that wow. figure just adult that's adult. what i'm talking about about over 50 percent between 50 50 55 percent youth unemployment huh. adult unemployment is that 24.5 so how do they how do they how do you think they can manage this you see because one is that you know, it has to go back to Ministry of Education too. Now, for labor, we need to have, you know, if the, uh, in, uh, uh, the uh, economy cannot absorb, because about uh, 300,000 or more graduate every year from uh, the universities. They join the labor year. force. Okay, but they said they said the public works, uh, the the ones I've mentioned, will give them or will give Nigerians three million jobs every year. So if you have three million jobs every year, you have three hundred thousand coming out of university every year. Sh that's, sh that's I don't know the actual figure, but I'm just saying of that. the universities. Yes. Alone. Okay. People joining, not those already unemployed. Unemployed. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Now, when you do that, that means that the absorb, absorptive capacity of the economy is limited. It can't take in. How do you provide jobs when there are no industries? That's why I will say all these ministries are all linked together. You cannot provide. There's nothing the Minister of Labor can do apart from settle quarrel between employers and employees hmm. and government and the labor unions if the, there are no industries to engage these people. And how can there be industries when the people are not even well trained, educated? They don't, uh, the universities have to re re reject their. And when you don't even have power, how do you have industries? How do you, so everything, they all, you know, it's, it's all synchronized, they all go together. And then again, how can you develop another without science and technology? Mm -mm. That science and technology, you focus on it. Obunayano. Yes, that's the most critical. Every other ministry is important. But if Nigeria must move away from and um, compete in the, in, the, in, in, the, um, in the international space, Nigeria has to become original equipment manufacturers, not just consumption of these things. We need to begin to learn how to make these things. The made in Nigeria products. Yes. Mm. If we need machine to make shoes, why don't we make, first, not just making the shoes, but we can manufacture the machine, the mold that make the machine that will make the shoe. That's where the money is. Not just making shoes, not just buying shoes. And that's why, let me give you an example. Saudi Arabia, what has happened in the Middle East, you know, in the, you know, is that there's this healthy competition amongst all the nations. Qatar took their own focus on what? Education. Mm -hmm. Any form of education come to Qatar. Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates said tourism. Tourism, yes. Now, uh, Saudi Arabia said we cannot be left out. 
What is their own this thing? They said that the future of Saudi Arabia does not rely on you know, uh, oil and gas. Mm. But they did study and they found out where they could play in science, engineering, and technology. And even though they have oil and gas in yes. abundance. We need to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll definitely continue and look at some other, uh, some other sectors also. And they're about to introduce your calls also. Do stay with us. <laughs> 